Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun little review of a th three barrel curler. I've been wanting to try one of these for a really long time and my mom actually got me one for Mother's Day. So I actually haven't, I haven't really like taken it out of the box yet because I wanted to open it with you guys. This is just like one of like many options that are on Amazon. I will link this one below. Uh, but like I said, I haven't opened yet, so I haven't tried it yet. And just a couple days ago, I got my hair chopped off. So I think it'd be, I've seen this used a lot with like long hair, but who knows what it's gonna look like with short hair. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, so in here it comes with a black glove. It's kind of like a, it's more like a cottony material. Um, it's like a medium size, small medium size. So if you have larger hands, it might not fit. Um, and then it also comes with a little clip. I don't know, just one clip. I don't even know if these are still in, um, but it's kind of cute. A little pearls. And then it's the actual three barrels itself. Um, so I know it's like, it's elect, well it's electric course it's electric Kiona. <laughs> I know it's digital so you can actually like see the heat on it and uh, these are I think these are one inch barrels so it has 360 degree rotating power cord support for temperature adjustment auto off in 60 minutes in case of no operation so that's good for me because I'm always panicking that I left my curling iron on so that is awesome. I don't know if you can hear the neighbors. They're making some weird noises. And okay, so the temperature range is 100 degrees Celsius to 230 or 190 Fahrenheit to 450. Automatic shutdown in one hour. The length of the power cord is two meters. Yeah. All right, so let's plug this in and see how long it takes to get warm. Okay, so I just plugged it in. It says off on here. You press the power button, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, so press the power. There's a power button, there's a plus and a minus. So you can hit the plus. Uh, mine is set in Celsius. So like I know most curling irons like they're automatically shown in Fahrenheit, but this one says Celsius, so I have it at 230. Okay, so let's see how long this takes to heat up. And there's also a little kickstand here, so you don't have to burn your countertops. I'm sitting on the floor because the light everywhere where I tried to set up is horrible right now, so. This is the best light I could find, so <laughs> sitting on the floor. Also, our house is a mess because we are taking everything out of like every closet and cupboard and everything you could think of to uh, to move. And we want to get it out in the open and see if we actually want to take it with us. But like even right now, like unless you sell things on the marketplace, you can't go and donate anything because none of the donation centers like Valley Village is open that I know of. So. Right. it's blinking it blinks as it is heating up so I think when it stops blinking that's when it's ready a few moments later so it definitely took about two minutes to heat up so it has stopped blinking it's at 230 degrees Celsius so to do this I'm gonna do it probably in sections so bottom first and then move up. I'm so scared to burn myself because my hair is so short, so I'm gonna be close to my neck. Okay. All right, uh, just so you guys know, so like this morning I took a shower um, 
and then I I put the wow carb stuff that's supposed to volumize my hair um, I'll put a picture up and link it down below um, it's great for if you have thin hair like a crazy person all right and then um, I put that in my hair and then I blow dry using my brush blow dryer um, I have I think I mentioned yeah I had both items in my Amazon review um, or must-haves video so I'll put a card up here all right so so I'm not gonna be putting any hairspray or using any other product I just want to be transplant transparent about the products that I was using just in case that has an effect on this oh my god this looks huge for my hair okay so Let's start up. Why do I have the glove on the wrong hand? God, Kiona. Okay, go. Get Gibson, go. <laughs> One second. And I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I am using the viewfinder. So if you see me looking off to the side, it's because I'm using it as a mirror. Okay, let's try this again. Let's take a small section. Put it as close to the root as I can. It's really close to my ear. Okay. Oh, this is really hard without a mirror. Okay, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> I think it's because my hair is so short. Okay, I'm gonna do the bottom. I'm probably gonna like zoom through this. And then we'll look at the top a little bit more. giving me some good volume. I'm moving on to the top layer now. 
You know how like you curl your hair and sometimes it just makes your hair like stringy? Well, at least for me it does. Um, and it kind of loses some of its volume. Well, I find this is doing the opposite. So that's good. I feel like with any hair tool, it's just getting the hang of it. And like when you get to the bottom, I gotta make sure that I don't like pull it straight and get rid of the wave. It feels like the hair feels hot, but like I feel like it's not hot enough. Like, I don't know. I mean, my hair is just not taking it. Maybe I actually need to put like product in my hair. Like, I don't want to leave it on there super long. So I guess you can kind of see here the difference from one side to the other. It looks kind of funny. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing this all wrong. Why is it doing that to my bangs? The hell? You see what it's doing? It's like straightening it. But like making it super fuzzy. All right, I think for some reason it really made my hair really like staticky and fuzzy. Like I like the volume, but like why? Why is it so staticky? Is it the type of metal they used? I don't know that much about hair tools to be honest, but going on what is this why won't it it won't curl my bangs they're not really even bangs anymore know guys oh, yeah it is super frizzy it created this like line here I think it, I might have had it upside down like I think you should be able to see your hair going and I had it like this rather than like this but it just seemed easier that way for some reason um, and then my bangs just like won't curl um, yeah, so I'm going to put some of this, it's like a caviar rapid repair spray, instant shine and moisture, just to make sure, see if it will like tame down some, some of this. I think the barrels just might be too large for like how short my hair is now. When I wanted this, my hair was like down to here. I, I love the volume it gives. I think I just need maybe some more practice too. Like, I just wanted to give you guys my first impression. Um, have you like try it out with me, especially with short hair and just see like how user friendly it is. And so far, not so good. I'm, I know they make smaller ones, so I feel like it would be probably like the smaller maybe like the half inch barrels like I don't know what's going on like this I did this like four times and it just won't curl at all yeah <laughs> I feel like I look like Einstein or something just like crazy hair like I got electrocuted um, definitely gave me a lot more volume so like and I have like so I have a bob so it's even like shorter in the back so it's really hard like there's only like this much hair in the back to get which I think it's like shorter than this is wide so yeah I think I might have to get the smaller one and uh, try that one um, I don't know I specifically asked my mom for the one inch barrel I I thought maybe it would just give me like a nice little wave but it's definitely too big um it definitely speeds up 
I think it definitely speeds up curling your hair and I think if you had nice long hair it would definitely look a lot better um, it's just this part right here that's really bothering me if I can pin it back now I look like when I was in high school at least do that anywho well that didn't go as planned well, I hope you guys uh, at least found this video entertaining. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos uh, like about fashion, uh, I did some nail reviews. I do some mom and like family content. So uh, please subscribe if you're interested and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Bye.